Hello everyone, with the Expert Dueler event going on right now inside AFK Journey, a lot of people are popping over to Hero Duel and realizing they don't know what the heck they're doing. Don't worry because not long ago I was in this same boat. There's a couple of key things you need to know about this that we're going to go over today. The big reason why everybody is doing this is for that Parissa skin, the Creek Vines. I think this looks pretty cool. But really all you got to do is play this three times in a day for nine days and you'll have it. But if you're anything like me and you see that difficult tab over there, you just gotta try it and see how far you can go. And the one I find absolutely nuts is that achieve a 9 win victory, 0 losses without refreshing the shot. This is what I've been going for and I burned through a lot of turns inside the game. Now I believe we start off with 4 or 5 of these dual letters here, but if you burn through those you can purchase more with coins. I think the first ones start at 5,000 and then the 3rd to 10th ones, they go for about 10,000. I myself am sitting about 8 million gold, so 5,000, 10,000 really doesn't seem like a lot if I want to give this more tries. Now one thing to note is the heroes that you currently have inside the game have nothing to do with the heroes you can select inside this hero duel. If you click on the eyeglass up here next to featured heroes, you can see all the heroes that you can pick inside the hero duel. Keep in mind though, if you look down, there are some heroes that have buffs and nerfs inside the game. So if you're going for Thorn and saying, man, he usually wrecks for me, he does have a minus 30% attack. Now, one of the big oopsies I was making when I first started playing this was this select your initial combo. I'd go through, look to see which heroes I saw on the screen and said, yep, that's the one I wanna go for and pick that. But what you want to do is go over on the left side of the screen there, you see the artifacts, you want to hit that info button to know what the initial artifact skill is. Some of these might apply to all the heroes, a specific hero, or even a specific faction. So if you can imagine that there was times I was just picking whatever I thought looked good, and I hit an artifact that would buff the Maulers when I was building Graveborn. So if you don't see something you like out of those three artifacts, then you want to go and decide to play the random one, which, by the way, the artifact will be random too. And if that artifact is faction-based, then that's the faction you want to go for and stick with. All heroes you get inside this are going to be epic rarity, and you will need three copies to take it from epic up to legendary. If you want to take it to mythic, it's going to be an additional four copies of that hero. You can still purchase more past that point, but they will not serve you any purpose at all. So if you do end up seeing, say, a Cessia out there that you need the last one, and then there's a triple Graveborn, definitely grab that triple Graveborn first, and the fact that you don't grab Cessia and then get one out of the triple. Now, as I was saying, the faction bonus is huge, so really try to build five of the same one. You could go three and two. I have seen a lot of people go with the Smokey and Rowan in a single build, which can be very annoying, but it does seem to work. The other thing I would highly suggest is once you get your first five heroes, whether they're all the same faction or not, you want to at least purchase one or two pieces of gear. Yes, they are only blue rarity. They're only 10. They may not be the greatest, but it does make a big difference in the beginning. Just pay attention to the ones that say things like increased damage to heroes that are three tiles away or within a tile or two. Simply click on one of the heroes and you can see the range of their attacks. By now, I hope you have some sort of basic formation idea. Tanks in the front, marksmen in the back. But when you go to throw down your first three heroes, they're going to be locked once you hit the continue button. And you want to put the three out of the five that are the weakest out of your group so your opponent doesn't know where all your heavy hitters are. I myself like to start off by throwing the lower rarity heroes out with no gear on, and then if that doesn't fill up the three slots, I'll throw the lower rarity hero out with the gear on it. And after submitting those first three heroes, we can see what the enemy is going to put out for their first three heroes, and usually one of those is going to be the healer. So if I have somebody on me like a Sylvina or even a Vala that will target a specific hero, this is a good point to put them in the second portion to be able to target that healer inside the game. If it came down to it and I had a target between Rowan and Smokey, I would definitely go Smokey on it. It seems like he tends to be more of a pain in the butt. The way I play this, I try to build a lot around Graveborn, so Thoran, Cessia, Igor, and Sylvina. And then that last spot I just kind of leave open for whoever I'm able to get good rarities of. As you get into the game further, you'll find yourself refreshing a bunch, trying to chase down that hero you want to get it to the next rarity, but you can easily go through 30 or 40 of the currency. So I highly suggest every time you click, just take a minute, look at the gear that's out there and see if it's anything good. Sometimes a piece of gear that costs the 40 currency is enough to really make a huge difference in the game for you. 
Those artifacts also have star levels on them where you get to select a buff for your heroes. In order to get it to one star, you're gonna need to get six artifact XP. Every time you enter a battle, you're gonna be getting two of that XP. And if you upgrade a hero from Epic to Legendary, that's going to give you three XP. But if you go from Legendary to Mythic, it's only gonna give you two XP. So in order to get it to that second star, that's where it's gonna take 42 XP. And you figure if you took five year heroes up to Mythic themselves, that's only gonna be an additional 25 XP. So if you are chasing after five heroes himself and trying to get those in Mythic, you may not be seeing this second star until level nine or even level 10. It's not something that I typically end up doing, but in theory, if you wanted to, you could start leveling up a sixth or seventh hero, at least get them to legendary, and then you'll achieve it that way. But still, with all the currency in the game and getting the gear, there's not really a lot of room for error. As far as the one star and which one you should pick, I really don't have good advice on that besides look at your team and see what works best. You may have one that's going to upgrade everybody 10% on their stats, where the other one might be selecting the rear hero and giving them a 20% increase. For every fight we go into, any heroes that didn't get placed on the battle board will give us some currency back. But if there's a hero that you're definitely not using, maybe it's outside the faction, you can go and sell them and get currency back. All you gotta do is click down the formation tab before entering battle, and you'll see up top that hero sales. This will give you an idea of what you're gonna get if you sell that hero, just be careful not to sell one of your main ones. When it comes to equipping the gear, it can be a little bit tricky of making sure you slot it in the right spot. Seems like you can transfer it, move it back down to the bottom. Just pay attention to what hero has each piece of gear. Just click on it, see what it is, and make sure it's benefiting them. Once you get the gear, you're stuck with it. There's no selling those things at all, at least from what I've seen on it. I've tried plenty of times to look for spots to sell it and I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going with, you're stuck with it. But a lot of this is knowing what that artifact is, building around that artifact, building all of the same faction, and then find the balance of upgrading your heroes to the next rarity and keeping their gear up to taps. I'll say it again, make sure you are reading all that information on that gear. If you have something that gives a buff when you immobilize a hero, make sure that hero has that in their skill set. You can go and back out of this, go see what your hero skills are, and go right back in and you won't lose your spot as long as you're not hitting the forfeit button. The only moment you really have to worry about a time limit is when you're going and putting your heroes on the board. Other than that, you could step away from an hour and go back into it. A lot of this is gonna be playing it and learning the artifacts, learning the gear out there. I honestly like it because it gives me a chance to use the heroes I don't typically use and kind of see what their skill set and synergies do. If you guys find yourself getting stuck on AFK progress, enemies on the map, even zone bosses, take a look at this video right here. Within minutes of me doing this, I was able to jump like 11 AFK stages when I was stuck on one and I did it in a lot less power. Hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and remember, I pick my butt.